Hello, I'm Peter and I welcome you to my video tutorial for lightsaber burn marks in Adobe After Effects. One thing you will probably have noticed by now is that English is not my mother tongue, so um, I apologize if you're not able to understand what I'm trying to say. Also, I'm using the German version of Adobe After Effects, so I guess most of you will not understand the captions there. So I will try to translate them and explain every step in this tutorial very clearly and if you watch the video closely I guess you should be able to follow my instructions and figure out what to do. So we better start right from the beginning. The fact we're going for is the lightsaber burn marks as seen in Revenge of the Sith. For this effect I've prepared a little video clip from Return of the Jedi where Luke attacks this guard on Jabba's sail barge with his lightsaber. As you can see, his lightsaber does not leave any kind of wound on his hand, neither is there any kind of pyrotechnics like in the shot before when Luke was hit in his hand. So we're just gonna take this scene and add a nice looking burn mark here and make it follow this arm's movement here. Now create a new layer, make sure it's the same size as the composition, and it's filled black. And set its transfer mode from normal to a linear dodge, which will make the black disappear since only lighter parts of this layer will be shown. Now go to Effects, Rendering Effects, and Fractal Noise. This effect will give your layer a cloudy look which we'll need to create the pattern of the effect. In the settings for this effect open the transformation tab and scale it down from 100 to 6 which will make uh, the pattern look a bit more detailed and smaller. Well once you're done with that you can hide this layer and zoom in a bit so we can draw a mask on it use freehand mask points. It doesn't have to be very precise, just use a few points like I used six here. Um, then make sure that all your points are selected. Hold down control and click one of them to create a curved mask, which will look a bit better and give the layer a more natural look, so it doesn't get too edgy at all. Now go to that layer settings and give the mask a soft edge of like 2 or 3 pixels. It helps this layer uh, blend in with the composition a bit better. Once you're done with that uh, you can go to the effects window. No that's not the effects window, um, this one is. And open the effect settings for this layer. You can see the fractal noise we added before. Now go to Adjust, Levels. Go to the black input and increase it from 0 to like 80 and decrease the white input from 255 to like 200. This will result in a higher contrast for our pattern. You do not have to use these exact settings. Just play around with them and get some highlights. Now we want to add some color, so go to Adjust, Hue, Saturation, and when you're there, uh, just check that Colorize box at the bottom. Give it a hue of like 25, which will result in a very orange color, and a saturation of 50. So our burn mark will actually look a lot more like something glowing hot something that hurts, like a burn mark. You see, it's closer to what we are going for. This is actually a pretty good result already because we are going to add glow to it and we're going to match move it and it's also gonna get motion blur, so it's actually not too bad. What I did now is that I activated the keyframes for the mask shape, the layer's transformation and also the layer's position because when we move that 
thing around, we are not just going to move the mask. We are also going to move the whole layer so that the pattern does not change too much. So, but I'm also concerning the shape of the burn mark, uh, just moving around those mask points so that when this actor changes the angle of his hand, the mask will also follow it. So what we do now is take that layer, um, move it around, and change the mask shape and all to match the actor's motion. And this is a bit of a brain killing process, so I'm just gonna fast forward it. Once this is done, you can see that um, that burn mark pretty much follows the actor's motion. So what we're going to do now is add a bit of more realism to it in adding motion blur. Make sure that motion blur is activated here. Then go over to the layer and simply activate motion blur. That's pretty much it. So you see uh, it gets blurred now depending on its movement and its velocity and all sorts of that, which makes it look even better. For a finishing touch, we're going to duplicate this Burnmax layer in order to give it another stronger glow. Set this copies transfer mode from line and dodge to add. This makes this copy look even lighter and stronger than before. Now go to effects because we're going to blur it a bit. So open the blur effects and go to fast blur. Once you're there, uh, make sure that you check repeat edges and give it a fast blur of around 10. This is how you make something glow. Give it the right transfer mode and blur it. That's pretty much it. Now duplicate this copy twice and each of the duplicates needs a stronger blur like double time strong or such. I give this second layer 20 and the third copy layer 40. Well, we're actually pretty much done now, so remember what you did to achieve this effect. We added a new layer, we set it to liner dodge, we added fractal noise, we added a mask, we match moved it, we colorized it, we duplicated it and blurred the hell out of it. So, this is pretty much everything you will need. Now, add a fan film, add lightsabers, add clashes, add sparks and you'll probably come up with something fancy like this. Um, okay, that didn't look too fancy at all, but I guess you get the idea. However, um, I would have preferred to show you the clip we've been working on now, but since I deleted it like a year ago, that's just not possible. Well, I still hope you liked this tutorial and actually learned something from it. If you did, or if you have any comments to leave, or questions you want to ask, well, just leave me a comment here, and I'll try to help you out. Um, I hope you'll tune in again if I come up with something new, and maybe use this method, even improve it, and, well, but the most important thing is, you just go on and have fun with it. So. Goodbye.